hi everybody and thank you for watching so i started this channel to have some accountability and motivate myself to organize my home i have decided to participate in vlogmas this year and complete this 30-day organizing challenge i found online if this sounds interesting to you please subscribe to my channel watch my daily videos as i clean my areas of my home and make 2024 an amazing year for myself and for my family Welcome to Vlogmas and Organizing Challenge Day 8 where we look at my linen closet. So I did my linen closet a few weeks ago, so there's not much that I need to do. It's actually going to be a really short video, but as part of the challenge, I need to go through it again. And you can see already that that second shelf there is a mess. People have just thrown stuff in there. The towels there I need to organize. And then I bought some new towels here from Black Friday, so I need to find space for those. So I am going to go through some of our towels. Look at the old ones that we no longer use that are kind of falling apart i'll probably pull those out and put them somewhere else we'll probably use them for our dog whenever we give them a bath but for now i want to reorganize this and try and find space for these new towels I'm going to apologize in advance because I'm still getting used to filming myself while I'm doing these challenges. Sometimes when I just am in the zone cleaning, I tend to forget to change the angle of the camera so you can see what I'm doing. But I am now on that second shelf and I'm trying to rearrange some of this linen. I will in a few months probably go through this again and go see the linen that we don't use and potentially uh, get rid of them. But right now I didn't really get rid of a lot. I just reorganized it. We still have the space for them. So I'm not necessarily getting rid of stuff right now. And so as I am moving things around, I am putting the new towels on that third shelf and you'll see eventually I will realize that I don't have the space. So I start to look above. So above here to the right, there are two more shelves and uh, basically those shelves are quite empty and I eventually will move some of the linen that we don't use up there. And more than likely, like I said, when I do do my second go around on all these areas come next year, I'll more than likely start to declutter more products. So most of my linen is more or less just on three shelves. Yes, uh, this whole cabinet is meant to be for linen, but I am a, I'm an extreme couponer and my stockpile is actually in these linen closets. So my real linen, the towels and the bed sheets are just in these shelves. Everything else is just all my products. So if you've watched my videos before, you've seen me reorganize my stockpile. Oh, that's where my stockpile is and so I'm just now focusing just on the linen when I say linen closet I'm just focusing on those few shelves where we actually store our linen and towels so we are coming to the end of the linen closet so let's do a recap of what it looked like before so you can see I have my towels and then I have this one shelf of just all of these bed sheets and towels just thrown in there so i really wanted to reorganize this and then also find space for these new towels that i have purchased during black friday so that was my goal for today now let's look at what the linen closet looks like so now as you open up the linen closet you can see all the towels are neat in that shelf and then also the next shelf up you can see some extra towels and some linen and then all those extra blankets i put them way up the top there so i'll leave them there for now but when i go back to redo this area i will look at that and see if we haven't used them and more than likely donate them so to make the new towels fit i did have to get rid of three towels that are pretty old so i'm going to use these towels when we uh, give our dog a bath so some of them do have some pulls and so because this video was really short i decided to do something else so other than the linen closet i decided to uh, clean my dining room chairs so totally off topic but you can see here my dining room chairs are really dirty i haven't cleaned these um, basically ever so i really wanted to utilize this green machine this fabric cleaner and so i wanted to try it out on these dining room chairs to see if it'll actually clean them 
So this is the first time I am cleaning these dining room chairs and also utilizing this screen machine on these chairs. I've used this machine before in my car and like on my sofa, but not on these chairs. So I am going to more or less clean these chairs. So you'll see me go one by one through each of the chairs. I will also show you uh, what it looks like. So it's actually gonna still be wet. So I will have to uh, show you what it will look like and then once it dries, we'll uh, see if it actually has cleaned it. So I wanted to show you uh, basically the green machine and how it works. So you can see the water being sucked up by the vacuum. So I first will spray the chairs and then I would slowly go through and it will suction up all of the solution that I sprayed, but also it will pick up all of the dirt. So you can see most of the water that's being sucked up is not clear. You can see it's pretty uh, dirty. So I just wanted to give you a little clip of what it looks like. cap of what the chairs look like before so you can see there is a lot of dirt on them so they're all those black spots so I really wanted to try out this green machine and clean them the first chair and the last chair are the most dirtiest so I really wanted to test out this green machine and see if it would clean these chairs and so this is what the chairs look like after I have cleaned them so they are still a bit damp so you can see that it is quite wet and so after that I left it dry for quite a few hours and then I'm going to show you what the chairs look like now. So these are what the chairs look like after it's been dried for a few hours. So you can see the last chair which was the dirtiest. There's still a few spots there. I might have to do another go around with the green machine. But this first chair was pretty dirty and it did pick up quite a few of the marks. So I'm quite happy with uh, the results. And so tomorrow day 9 is makeup and beauty products which I kind of completed when I did my bathroom clean so i'm gonna have to find another place in my home to clean so stay tuned to tomorrow's video to see what area of my home i decide to clean thank you for watching